Hi, welcome to Vegan Finds, um, where we're going to turn this into to this stuffed butternut. It's not butternut. It's acorn. To this acorn. To, to this, this stuffed, stuffed acorn, acorn squash. squash. Hey, welcome back to the channel. We're glad you could stop by if this is, this is your first time. Um, please check out some of our other videos. We got about a hundred recipes posted. Um, and today's dish is part of the Veganuary um, series that we're doing of healthy dishes to kind of get rid of all the crap that you ate during the holidays is a stuffed acorn squash. And we're going to be using a um, pure farmland plant-based uh, meat replacement. And we're going to be adding to it. Okay, so we are using Savory Spices South Fork Italian Sausage Spice. So we're going to make this sausage-esque flavored. We're going to be using right rice medley with ancient grains. Um, the holiday stuffing flavor. And we're going to mix that all together in a stuffing. We're going to cook the um, acorn squash separately. So we're going to cook that in the oven. We're just going to cut it in half, seed it slice it um, lengthwise not <laughs> don't chop the top let's put it that way um, and basically saute this up with some onions and, and, and mushrooms it'll all come together real quick this is a super easy dish really not a lot of um, extraneous parts going on so stick around we'll show you how to make it so the first thing we're going to do is basically slice open our acorn squash and we're just going to take out the seeds we're just going to scoop them out with a spoon scoop them out like so and again if you want to roast those seeds you can they make great salad topping toppers matter of fact I will put these on the cookie sheet and basically what you're going to do is you're going to put them on a cookie sheet like this put them in the oven 400 degrees I want to say about 15 minutes and they should be ready to go as long as the um, knife goes uh, through it real easily they're ready to go and now it's time to make the stuffing okay, so I have about um, half a cup of onions diced up um, I'd say medium diced and now I'm just going to slice up our button mushrooms um, these can be you know fairly thick it doesn't really matter um, These are going to be sautéed and they're going to shrink quite a bit. So um, I'm going to keep slicing these up and then we're going to start our cooking process. Um, we're going to basically heat some oil in a pan and start sautéing the onions and mushrooms together before and then we're going to add our um, pure farmland vegan beef grind here. Um, uh, it's the plant-based meat replacement, and uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna go quick. It's another another f quick and easy recipe that we're doing today, and I'll be back with our pan. Okay, so uh, we got our oil in the pan. I'm just gonna add our mushrooms and onions to this. This is a little bit small of a pan, but we'll make it work. We always do. So we're just going to let that cook down for the, oh, look at that. We got a rogue. Did not see that. He was hiding, trying to get away. Um, we're going to let that cook down until the mushrooms start to release their liquid. Um, and then we're going to add our uh, beefless ground to that. Okay, so let me talk to you about this product right here, right rice. Um, this is a great uh, item to use if you are trying to limit some of your carbs, but you love rice. Tastes just like rice. The flavors are excellent. Um, I just tasted some of the holiday stuffing. It is fantastic. Um, we aren't sponsored by these people, so um, this is not any kind of paid 
uh, promotion whatsoever. Uh, we will tell you if somebody is crazy enough to pay us for our opinion. Um, we'll let you know, but we will always give an honest opinion about the stuff that we are eating. We don't like it. Um, chances are you won't see it on camera. Uh, it's just simply because other people may like it. So I don't want my opinion to necessarily um, unduly influence somebody, especially on the negative side. On the positive side, yeah, I'm going to preach from the from the uh, rooftop. But one serving has nine grams of protein versus white rice, which only has four. This has five grams of fiber um, versus zero for white rice. And so the net carbs end up being uh, 28 grams, which if that's the only carb you've had during the day, it still falls into that keto um, level of 30. So you just um, can cut back. And quite honestly, you get quite a bit of rice out of that package. So you're not going to be um, really short changing yourself by making this rice and eating a little bit less than what you what you would have thought because it, it, the portion is big. It, there's no way to put it other than it's very uh, a nice healthy size. So our mushrooms are cooking down here. Um, and our onions have become translucent so I'm going to now add our beefless ground to this I unceremoniously plumped it in there and we're just going to do that you want to season it up there, Theory? While I break this up. So again, we're using the Savory Spice Shops um, Italian pork sausage seasoning for this. And I can tell you, uh, if you want to buy it, you can buy it online. Again, we love the Savory Spice Shop. They've got great selection and they have high turnover. So you know that the spices haven't been sitting there for, you know, 20 million months, God only knows, you know, how long some of those jars in the supermarket have been sitting there. Um, two, teaspoons. two teaspoons. Oh, it smells so good. We've never had a bad experience with the Savory Spice Shop. And we and buy... Don't put any, like, protein in the right, there's no... There's no weird, there's no weird chemicals, you know, to prevent anti-taking. And you can buy in like large quantities. Like we buy, you know, certain r barbecue rubs that we use during the year. We'll buy a pound of that. I just bought, you know, uh, a four ounce bag of yellow curry. This really smells fantastic. And again, if you're not familiar with the uh, pure farmland meat, um, it's got a bit of fat in it. It's got uh, 7 grams of saturated fat. Obviously, that's a lot less than ground beef. Um, 14 total grams. It's got uh, 10 grams of carbohydrates, 3 diet grams of dietary fiber, something you don't get, obviously, with um, ground beef. But you're also getting... 16 grams of protein. So a half a cup serving, you're getting basically one third your daily allotment of protein. Um, and so you can't really uh, go wrong with that. So we're just going to cook this for a couple more minutes. We're going to add the rice to it, right? Yep, we're going to add the rice to it. So Doris is going to grab the rice. I'm holding on for a second. Do, 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 do. All right. Man, look at that. Beautiful. I'm gonna give them. All right, so our butternut squash is probably close to being done. This is 
just about ready. Smells great. That much I can tell you. We'll probably top it off with a little bit of fresh... Oh, door says, uh-uh. I don't know how long it's been in, but this is, this is just about ready. We'll be back to show you how to finish this off in a flash. Okay, so our butternut squash has been is done baking. We baked it for 25 minutes. Now it's time to stuff it. Doing a heck of a job here. Now obviously, you're going to have filling left over. You could just eat the filling straight up. Or buy more butternut squash. You can always microwave butternut squash too. If you're in a need for a quick fix. Just going to sprinkle Okay, so here's the final product. Um, Doris mentioned that you can even include uh, some dried cranberries in there um, to give it a more holiday feel, if you like. But we got our stuffed uh, acorn squash. If you like these recipes, please click subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on TikTok, and follow us on Instagram. Um, thank you. Be healthy. Be safe. Uh, it's 2021. Hopefully it'll be better than 2020.